There are so many advanced technologies we cover on this channel, but now I compile the list of very exciting medical technological breakthroughs of the 2020s. I try to make sure that every trend shares the same three features. First, the technological trend has or must have gone through a recent breakthrough, and I will explain what kind of breakthrough about each technological trend. Second, it must be anticipated that this trend would have a large impact on the near future of medicine or healthcare. And number three, it must have a wide range of applications, so I can try to be specific. This way I can avoid saying that like AI is going to be a big thing in healthcare. Let's see these six major and exciting medical technology breakthroughs of the 2020s. Number one, CRISPR and gene editing. This amazing field had its own scientific breakthrough era in the last decade or so. So the breakthrough is not about that now. The breakthrough is around its regulatory background. And finally now, we analyze that in the video, dozens of studies and clinical trials are on the way right now that try to find out whether we can put enough evidence behind using CRISPR-based genome editing technologies in the everyday practice of medicine and the delivery of healthcare. The cost of these therapies, of course, will remain an issue because some of these therapies cost $2.2 million per patient. Number two is around mRNA-based vaccines. The breakthrough, of course, came because of the pandemic. During the pandemic, a lot of companies came up with their own vaccines against the COVID variants. But now, scientists are working on combined mRNA-based vaccines for managing COVID, flu, malaria, HIV, and even different types of cancer. That would be an amazing scientific breakthrough for the next years. Number three is about telemedicine and remote care services. I know it doesn't sound exciting at first, but hear me out. Because of the pandemic, the remote care became the new norm. Now it's much easier to receive healthcare, receive medical advice from afar, than to go to a physical point of care facility or location and meet other sick people. So we have to get used to the idea, it's a different mindset, that remote care is going to be the new norm. Here, I'm talking about virtual wards that allow patients to go home and still being cared for because of the technologies they can use while staying at home. I'm talking about asynchronous telemedicine, when you can ask medical questions and you can get lifestyle advice or suggestions, but not in a real-time conversation. Instead, you can do that asynchronously. And the third feature or, or um, trend here is around all the AI-based apps that allow patients to get empowered by data. Just look at how popular skin checking applications have recently become. You know, these are the apps that use AI to analyze photos of skin lesions. These apps compare the skin photos to databases of millions of skin lesions and photos, and they try to assess and provide a diagnosis or get the patient connected to a dermatologist for professional advice. Number four is about generative AI platforms for healthcare professionals. I'm talking about two sub-trends here. One sub-trend is about the rise of medical alternatives to ChatGPT-like services. These large language models have been trained on absolutely medicine-focused databases. So these were designed in a way that healthcare professionals can ask medical questions, maybe submit very complex clinical cases, or submit electronic medical records and interact with the medical chat GPT like tools. MedPalm from Google and DeepMind would be a good example for that. And the second subtrend here is around multimodal large language models, MLLMs that I've been talking about for so long. These large language models analyze not just text, but sound, images, videos, even full documents, PDFs, research studies, and peer-reviewed papers. And physicians could interact with AI through one multimodal large language model. That would mean that will become the ultimate interface between physicians and finally using AI. Number five is about photoplethysmography for blood pressure monitoring. Blood pressure is not something to be excited about because we have been using cuffs for decades, but Photoplethysmography, the PPG technology that your smartwatches use to measure your heart rate, can also be used to obtain blood pressure monitoring. There are smart bracelets, smartwatches, even skin patches that I've tested on this channel that use PPG technology to monitor blood pressure 24 hours a day, sometimes for two weeks. That's an amazing technological breakthrough in the management of blood pressure patients because there are hundreds of millions of them. 
And number six, I cannot leave this one out, using artificial intelligence to streamline administration in hospitals. Administration is the biggest burden on medical professionals. And there are companies like Microsoft that released Nuance, uh, a great service for medical professionals. So then they can use generative AI while working with electronic medical records, which is, I mean, working with EMRs, one of the major reasons behind physician burnout. So this way, by using AI, especially generative AI, physicians can finally save time and effort and maybe use that precious time to spend it with patients, providing empathy, showing compassion, working in one medical team. And I know it's a small example, but even voice-to-text applications point into that direction. And the breakthrough here is about how widely generative AI-based tools have become recently to the masses. I'm talking about not just a few researchers and physicians using it in their dark rooms, but hundreds of millions of people, patients and physicians alike, getting access to that breakthrough technology. So these are the six exciting medical technology breakthroughs I've personally seen the last couple of years. And I hope that in just a few years, all these will become very boring to look at because these will become part of the everyday practice of medicine or the delivery of healthcare. Until then, I will keep on informing you about all these exciting trends on this channel. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe below to get notified about every single new video we come up with. And also please go to medicalfuturist.thinkific.com where you will find our two courses, the Digital Health course and our newest one, Introduction to Artificial Intelligence in Medicine and Healthcare. See you there.